Well, I almost managed to fade that out. <laughs> it's a very long song. I always get tired of waiting. Hello and welcome. It is Tuesday. My name is Zara and I can feel the force around me. For my ally is the force. It is, in fact, Tuesday. Tuesday. No, it's not Tuesday. What am I thinking? God, I'm way behind. It's Friday. I... Uh, I don't know. I, like, just got out of the shower. I am still just groggy and half half asleep. I didn't wake up that that long ago. Well, no, I did. I woke up a few hours ago, but I, I don't know why I'm trying to justify myself. Anyway... Today is Star Wars Day. Uh, in a couple ways, it's I'm gonna be playing more Jedi Fallen Order because I love this game on the the hardest difficulty, and uh, it is also Mandalorian Day because, I mean, I won't spoil anything, but boy, the Mandalorian is really good. I am I am enjoying the hell out of that that show, and I cannot wait the next two episodes and then have to wait another whole year for uh presumably season three i i see no reason why they wouldn't want more of this because it's incredible uh what else did i want to talk about oh yes um so if anyone has checked my VODs on Twitch. You may notice uh, the last two, specifically Cooking Simulator and Teardown, uh, have no game audio. This is because I installed uh, Twitch Soundtrack. It, it became available for all, all Twitch uh, users. Uh, so I downloaded it, I installed it, I gave it a shot, and what it did is it ended up splitting the audio tracks between... It, it split the audio tracks in a way that the the game audio, like my desktop audio, was not saved on the VOD. It was live, it was working fine when it was live, and it works fine in the local recording. But the Twitch, specifically the VOD that's saved on Twitch's end, has no game audio, which is super weird. I didn't even know that that was possible, but apparently it is. So, um, I I do have a local recording of my teardown stream, which I have already uploaded to YouTube. So that has game audio. That's fine. The only problem is my stream of Cooking Simulator. I did not have a local recording of because for some reason my recording location changed and it was bugging out. So I just didn't bother to record. Do, I didn't bother to do a local recording because I figured I would just uh, export it directly from Twitch. But that has no sound. That has no game audio on it now. So if you want to experience the chaos of my uh, my cooking simulator stream, I will leave that VOD up on Twitch. I am not going to upload it to my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it, do so in the next couple weeks or else it will disappear into the void forever. I apologize, but I just don't want <laughs> I don't want some weird VOD where it's just my microphone and no game audio. That's weird. So, alas, weird technical issues have caused that. And yes, it is time for Sweet. So I wanted to get that out of the way. I'll post it on Twitter as well about the, the cooking simulator VOD. Because it has it's not going to live. Uh, I can export the VOD from Twitch, but th what happened is that uh, I, I installed Twitch Soundtrack, and what that did is it separated the audio tracks for the VOD on Twitch only. So it was the sound was like I had game audio when it was live, but in the Twitch VOD, there's no game audio at all. It muted it. My mic works fine. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know how it did that. It's some sort of sorcery. <laughs> Uh, and I didn't do a local recording because that was bugging out at the time, too. Um, not for the same reason. It just other problems. Local recordings also have game audio just fine. It is only the VOD that is saved on Twitch. 
it's weird, but it's an it's apparently a known bug. Well, it's not really a bug. It's it's designed in a way so that you can play music live and not have it saved on your VOD, which is cool, but it did not work the way I intended it to. So, anyway, that's <laughs> that's that weird uh, weird issue. I never really used it. I just installed it to kind of give it a shot and see see uh, what the kind of you know what the music library was like. It's pretty neat, but I don't. Uh, I don't have too much use for it. I don't listen to a lot of music on stream other than the intro. So, um, my bad. The, the the batteries in my controller have died. So I'm. I need to go grab a couple batteries. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I don't know why I don't test these things beforehand. But in the meantime, I can start the game. Oh, I need to update Origin as well. Well, okay. Geez, it hasn't been that long since I've played. It's only been like a week. Origin updates way too often for my liking. For some reason, I still need to launch the game through Origin, despite the fact that I purchased it on Steam. That will never, never not irritate me. Oh, loud. I always forget. Yeah, Origin kind of sucks. I've only ever used it for Star Wars games. Un unskippable loud splash screens gotta love them you know what the weird thing about origin is though the the latest star wars game squadrons doesn't require origin it, it can run through steam and steam only which i appreciate but is also kind of weird Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I have pink poncho and pink BD1. So last time we, what did we do? We did some tomb raiding and uh, some exploration. I think we went to uh, Dathomir for the first time, but couldn't complete everything. Um, then we went back to Kashuk, because we had word that uh, Chieftain Tarful wants to meet with us, but he is in the Shadowlands. So we have come to the Shadowlands here on Kashuk to find him, and we have some platforming challenges to do. Not to be confused with some other Shadowlands that uh, may be relevant at this time. Ah! Ow. Gotta get okay, I guess it has been a while since I've played. Right here, BD. There we go.
I always try to bait out the like the overhead attack because it's just an instant kill if you can parry it properly, which I can. I've got the timing down on that attack, but that doesn't just instantly kill them. Alright, so I have been... I have played through this game before. I have, like, zero memory of this place. Hang on. Because I, uh... I don't remember ever coming back through here. That's where we're supposed to meet Tarful. I guess I must have come back here at some point. I don't know. It's weird. Um, I want to know what's in that cave down there. The other way. Oh, it's just this. Well, let's see what this is. These trees. I feel the force all around this place. Feel the force. Um, there. I don't. I never really minded the swimming parts. bounce on these things. It's kind of fun, actually. Yes. That way. Yeah. Force pull. Hello. Glad you made it. This is Chieftain Tarful. I'm on a mission from Master Eno Cordova. He was looking for a Zepho artifact. Finding it could help save the Jedi. Cordova found wisdom at the top of the origin tree. You should seek answers there. It's massive. I don't even know where to start. Well, you might be able to find a way up through its root system, but most of it's underwater. <laughs> You'll need this breather. Uh, underwater? Thank you. What will you all do now? The only thing we can. Keep fighting. Good luck. Hope we meet again. <laughs> Face is looking a little smushed together there, Tarful. I also like how the entire point of us coming to Kashuk, like from the very beginning was to meet with Chieftain Tarful. And then when we do, it, there's not even like a cutscene or anything. It's just we have this five second conversation with him and then it, it's okay. See you later. Bye. Oh no. I can't land on that. Goat slugs. Then, aha, secrets. Want to look inside? <laughs> there was something in there. A new poncho. Shio. We gotta go underwater. This game, again, it, it reminds me a lot of Sekiro because it kind of does the same thing where it's like you get a lot of, you know, kind of decent basic gameplay and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, you gotta, now you gotta go underwater. It's not something that I was expecting from either game. 
but I, uh, I don't mind it. <laughs> More secrets. What is it, I... Yeah, that this this part was always weird. That the underwater chest opening animation for the chests is the same as it is above water, but BD one doesn't move. Electrum plate. I think that's my favorite material. The main downside to having underwater stuff in the game is that, I guess in comparison to Sekiro, like Sekiro's underwater segments were, there were things to do, like there were enemies to fight, you could attack underwater and whatnot. Not, not so much in this, this game. He took shelter here, mourning the loss of an elder. It's just kind of, there are some secret caves, there are some chests to collect, and other than that, there's not really much to do underwater. Maybe cut content? Maybe they had plans to implement more? Something interesting? Oh, that's a Republic gunship. There's the like the little ball pod on the side and uh, the interior. That's kind of neat. But uh, hold up, I think I missed something over here. There's a force echo over here that I did not collect. And some bugs. Take that, jerk. what that was supposed to be, but... I haven't played this since pretty much like this time last year. Like, it was right around the holidays that I played this the first time. And then over the last couple weeks I've been replaying it on the hardest difficulty. Because I think the combat in this game is kind of fun. Hey guys. That guy is having a rough day. Hit a lot harder than I think they're going to. I need some help. Not even Tarful could keep them out forever. 
They won't stop until everyone's wiped out. Good job, BD. Saba. about these things. I hate these creepy plants. Get them. Be gone. Those things give me the creeps. Whoa, strong words coming from you. I agree, Cal. Something about plants. It, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the big plant monster from uh, Jumanji. When it like comes out of the cabinet. And the vines like wrap around people's legs and it shoots like sleeping darts. God, that was a weird movie. Walk alive. The explosion radius on the the rockets is always bigger than you think it is. Like, always. Never doubt it, or you will be in trouble. Wanna check it out? What you got there? The valor and wisdom. Force Echoes should be this game's version of Blood Echoes. I guess they kind of are, aren't they? Um, I guess the souls just basically translate to experience points like in the top right but i guess in the same vein as um sekiro once you get once you gain a level like once you get a skill point it doesn't go away you can't lose it you'll lose all progress up to that unless you um unless you damage the enemy that killed you then you get them all back same with your force power but uh, any skill points that you have are yours. It really does feel like this game took a lot of inspiration from Sekiro. It is very, very similar in several aspects. Do you think the Empire would have come after Kashyyyk so hard if we hadn't intervened? The Jedi are supposed to be symbols of hope, but... I led the Inquisition here. Mari and Tarful put their trust in me. Did I just endanger them again? <laughs> well, I don't think we can even afford any skills. Uh, just this one. 
for his double-bladed lightsaber, which I never use. I don't know why. It just... It always feels so much more satisfying when you can do things with a single, single-bladed lightsaber. I forgot about those guys. I forgot about this weapon. Hit me again. You don't come across very many of the guys with like the force axes or the Hey, BD. I think all of their attacks are I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to draw this out. Run! You won't survive! Away! Stop. I don't know what your patterns are because I never fight you. Yes! More power! Yes! Yes! I'll end you! You also have a really cheap kick every time I attack you. You're not worth our time! Nope. Can't pull you. Yes! Power! Got something? Electro hammer. That's what they are. Stim BD? They fight so few of those guys, I forgot all about them. The the Purge Troopers are pretty annoying. Uh, I understand them being, you know, more difficult. Their their job is to hunt Jedi. Some of them are definitely more difficult than others. I just forgot that that guy existed. Inquisitor, you wouldn't be stupid enough to show your face here again, especially after we wiped out that feeble resistance. <sighs> Love it when I'm wrong. Oh. Time for a set piece. Slide. Hang on. That is big sister. Ooh, almost didn't make that one. Fourth sister, I think. funny because she appeared earlier on in the game, but this is the first time that she has been relevant at all. Ninth sister. There's there's only two sisters in the game, so I don't remember which I don't remember which one uh, what their numbers are, other than the second sister, I guess. I remember. Her. Night sister, search, sister, searching for us. I should call. On second thought, she listens to their transmissions. Let her find out on her own. 
<laughs> Face plants right into the, the mud. That is an awful lot of uh, muddy slopes. The thing that I like about it is that that whole segment takes place on like an isolated part of the map, so now the map for this region is just huge. And most of it is just that track of sliding. This whole segment is, you know, you go into the, the Shadowlands, you go through the whole thing, and then there's a big slide all the way back down to here. So much map. I guess that explains why Kashyyyk, the percentage of ex exploration on Kashyyyk is so high. give myself some more life because I'm probably going to need it. Oh, hey. Oh, that's that's a lot of spiders. Whoa. Now I got it down. You broke my stamina. The way that you like cut some animals in half and like cut horns off of this? animals and stuff like that in this game is pretty cool. What's that, New poncho. Rover. That's boring. I want to go back to pink poncho. I think Reese is going to like this one. Let's just hope it doesn't get too tall. A mushroom. Very nice. Thanks, BB, for telling me what a spider web is. Never would have figured that one out. Take it. Oh, it's a horn. Wookie horn. Uh, I don't think. I think this is just an alternate way up here. Now that I'm back here, I remember coming through this whole area again looking for unlockables in my first playthrough. For and, generations, uh, the Wookiees made a pilgrimage to the top. The tree guided them. I remember not finding very many. It seems like there is a lot of nooks and crannies to hide stuff around here, but... There's 
There's not really much. Slugs are supposed to do. <laughs> oh, that's a mushroom. I thought that was another slug. So to be very upset. Kazooie platforming here. Shh. We don't know if it's friendly. That's the thing that took down the night sister. Big, big bird. Large bird. <sighs> Cal played an instrument. Well, there is that scene where he picks up the the guitar that that Seer plays and just like rocks something out on it with no training. My friend, last Tarful let us hear he spoke of a glorious creature called the Shio Bird. Oh my God! It is like Banjo Kazooie. He's got a little friend riding on his back. He does most of the fighting. Whoa. This? Oh god, we're in we're in WoW Shadowlands now. Get up. Try again. Just keep failing, master. Do you? Good. Keep failing. Keep getting back up. That is the only way to succeed. Do not allow yourself to be weighed down by ego and pretense. Let go of what you fear to lose and rise up. Now. Again. I still can't get over how weird little kid Cal looks. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps I chose the wrong pattern. Master. I'm only choking Cal. Don't focus on the opinions of others. It is a weakness your enemies can exploit. Good. Now reach my position. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, game? Anyway. Speaking of Banjo-Kazooie. I guess Banjo doesn't really have a double jump, but... No. Okay. Now we have our double jump. Okay. Not sure why that was so tight, but... Cal has healed his connection with the Force. New skills are available. I... <laughs> Excuse me, game. Let's see what new skills we've got. I think... I think we just unlocked this one. 
Just increases all lightsaber damage, which is pretty sweet. Performing precision evade count briefly slows enemies and recovers a small amount of force. Ooh, that's another good one. Yeah, I want both of those. But anyway, I think we have all of our platforming abilities now. I think we can go everywhere. We can dive underwater. We can double jump. We got wall run, we got force push, force pull. I think we are good. And they give you a little platforming gauntlet just to make sure that you've got it all under control. Bird has got like dragonfly wings for feathers. Ow! I was not expecting that. Come here. This tree connects the core of the to the sky. Let's have you fight flying enemies without a ranged attack. There's a chest too. Treasure. Greed. Greed is good. Oh, I'm playing the wrong game. Know, don't you? <laughs> I'm hitting What's the that, free cash at poncho. Heck yes. Oh, nice. That is a nice poncho. Free cash. -ic. But I was hitting the right bumper to try and interact with things, but that's uh that's Hades. That ain't this game. This fell from a Wookiee as they climbed the tree. Some type of test. I know someone else pointed out in an earlier stream that having the clicking the right stick to interact with objects is very unor unorthodox. But in a way, it's kind of nice because it doesn't it doesn't interact or it doesn't interfere with any of your other controls. So you generally don't do it, you know, by accident in the middle of combat or something. From the Clone Wars, the war never ended here. Everything we did, did any of it matter? is bad. Also, Cal, is this really the best way to climb this tree? Where am I even going with this? Oh, I see. That other vine was, like, invisible from where I was. Almost at the top of 
big tree. Take a moment here to meditate. We only have one skill point. That doesn't do us any good. Uh huh. Another dragonfly wing. This bird might be the last of its kind. The last shield. That sequence is a little silly. Lots of wall running. Hey, bird. I can help it, but we have to be careful. I don't want to spook it. Hey, it's okay. We're not here to hurt you. We're friends, understand? Friends. It's okay. It's a piece of the Night Sister's ship. We need to remove it. This is gonna hurt, okay? I'm sorry. Wait, how does he know that she's the Night Sister? Was that ever established? Uh. Huh. Thanks, BD. we could do. It has blue blood. Just like a crab. Hmm? Well, let me see. What? What are you scanning? Never have I seen a view more exquisite than atop this tree. Thanks, Cordova. Huh. There was something in there. Ooh, a new paint job. Perihelion. Uh, white and gold. Alright. It's been a while since we've gotten a new Mantis paint job, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty cool view. There's the factory that we came from. Presumably. It looks similar in design. I'm trying to see if you can actually see the mantis from here. I don't think so. I think it's parked on the other side of like the smokestacks. Or that section coming off the left, I think, is might be where it's parked. Can't quite see it. Giving us a lift? What are all those, like, beacons? That's weird. Anyway, it's time to ride a bird. Large bird. There's still so much the Empire hasn't touched. Just like the never ending story. I forgot about this part of the game. This is like... This is the most Disney movie thing I've ever seen. Especially with like the swell and fanfare of music. It 
just feels so weirdly out of place. Especially because all it does is just drop us off at a different part of the tree. Man, that's weird. Got something? What are you running off to? Feeling okay? A new lightsaber sleeve. Peace and justice. Uh, still just the three colors. Uh, I've been playing with orange for a while now. Let's let's swap over to green for a bit. Uh, what did we find? Passion and strength, peace and justice, valor and wisdom. I think that one might be new. Peace and justice might be new. Valor and Wisdom 1. I think that's a new one that we just got. And Peace and Justice we just got. Peace and Justice actually looks a lot like uh, Darth Maul's lightsaber. But more importantly, we have new materials. Like Crodium. Some sort of like matte brown red. I don't like it. Lamina Steel. Bronzium. Duralium. I kind of like Duralium. I like the weird lightsaber colors, like blue. Dunium. Osmeridium. That one's kind of cool. Electrum plated. Gold. It's not really gold. I guess the, the one that we have now, the Hacian smelt, looks a lot more like gold. But we'll, uh... What do we got? We got a green lightsaber now. Let's... Let's go Osmeridium. Uh, for an emitter, we'll go with Eno Cordova. That one looks a lot like Luke's saber from episode 6. Boy, the things I could tell you about lightsaber designs. I could probably still look at a picture of, like, a spreadsheet of lightsabers and identify, like, 90% of them. Which says a lot about the design of lightsabers in general, if you can, you know, recognize who they belong to at a glance. bar in campaign let's go with peace and justice I like the cylindrical shape of the peace and justice ones but when you combine them all together it looks really bland so I don't like doing that elemental nature oh I think this is one of the new sleeves that we got it's like a wood in it very rustic. Passion and strength. Oh no, passion and strength I think is the one that looks like Darth Maul's saber. Because it's got like the ribs on it. Or maybe that's Qui-Gon Jinn? Oh no, I don't remember. Sure. Green for Kashik. Looking for something? Oh, hey. At last, I found my quarry. The Astrium. Used by the Zepho sages millennia ago. I hold in my hand a piece of galactic history. Oh, I will never be able to thank Tarful enough. Do you know what this means, my friend? 
No need to return to Darthamir. The darkness clouded every attempt at finding the Astrium inside Kujit's tomb, but the Force... The Force has provided a new path. Huh. Kujit's tomb. Yes, so... We have been sent here to find the Astrium. But it has already been taken, so we must go back to Daphimir. And yes, I do have the double blade. That is, like, the one thing that I picked up from... from Daphimir when I was there. The one thing that I could do before I got the, the double jump here. Not enough skill points. Climb the origin tree. Objective complete. Hey, bird. We going back down? You're done hurting this world. I don't know what's got second sister thinking you're so important. She likes her souvenirs, but I'm not in it for the memories. And honestly, you're not worth my time. So let's make this quick. All right. Boss fight against the ninth sister. It almost yeah. felt that. I don't remember any of her patterns. Oh, I bet that hurt. Oh. Force pushing me. Dorstim! Do you think she'd give you a hug? Um, if you were willing to tell her where, you know, Jedi were hiding, probably. She might still kill you. Not bad for trash! What about for a Jedi? Is there a difference? That's true. She has no reason to dislike you. But she strikes me as the kind of person who might find a reason. Ah. Ow. Need assist. No train to save you this time. Ah. Can't take a hit? Throw your lightsaber at me like that. Bring it uh, Ow. Stim beady. Who should I kill first? The Latero or the human? You're not gonna beat me in a button mashing competition. I got I'll assure you of that. I dodged backwards. I did the, uh... I did the cardinal sin of Bloodborne in dodging backwards instead of to the side or forward. Nice. Nice of her to just wait here. I hate that you can't 
tell when they're glowing. Because they have your souls. Bring the pain. Well, they are easy to get back. No train to save you this time. Ow. No. BD! BD, I need help! Big overhead swing seems to do a lot of stamina damage to her. Okay, no fanfare this time. Second lightsaber just comes right out. Barely noticed. This is a very large sister. Remember if Sekiro had very many attacks that you had to jump over. Oh, B this time. What? That's not fair. Thank you. Thank you, Fleeks, for the follow. I, I do not Help deem me, this mandate just. Almost felt that. But the Majesty Priestess sure does. I appreciate you for joining me. Not the attack I was expecting. The thing that's weird about this fight is that it's very much less about kind of like trading, you know, lightsaber parries and attacks. And more just, you have more opportunities to just do damage to her. Last chance to surrender. I preempted that one a little bit. Button mash. It's over. Being an Inquisitor taught me no setback is too great. When you've already lost yourself, a limb's easy. You know, I was a Jedi. It'd be fun to bring you in. Watch you crack like the rest of us! 
Oh. Angers you. Just wait till the isolation, <laughs> torture, <laughs> mutilation, <laughs> and your friends! I won't let you touch them! You can't stop the Empire! I can stop you. <laughs> 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 Down an inquisitor. Hey. Goodbye, ninth sister. I thought you were dead. Alas, we will never see you again. Glad you're okay. We should get back. Seer and Grease are expecting us. It's a real shame that we never get to see more of the ninth sister because she does have a very, very big personality. Okay, <laughs> that was a little abrupt. Let's do some resting. Uh, skill tree, this is the one I want. It's witch time. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. Hey. Here's another one, BD. More treasure. Hey, BD, in here. Let's see what you found. New poncho material. The Guardian. That's boring. I prefer my my free Kashuk poncho. Me and the bird are best friends because I have a picture of him on my back. <gasps> I couldn't remember if we actually got this upgrade or not to go back up zip lines, but apparently we did. Hey guys. Let's do this. Come on. Well, you guys did a real good job killing that slug, but unfortunately, always finding stuff. Very nice. Eighty-eight. One of my favorite things from the original trilogy: the eighty-eighty. See now. So, oh no, there's something I missed. No, I don't want to go back. I hate the Shadowlands. It's long. Uh, but yeah, now that we have the double jump and the uh, the underwater breather, it pretty much means we can go anywhere. Nothing is off limits now. Adversary inbound. He's too fast. Stay up. Uh, I think this is an elevator. This will take me up. Something I like doing more than making a stormtrooper feel like he's got a good chance and then just giving him a, a little nudge off the ledge and sending him to his doom. It's a little mean. But hey, they would kill me if they had the chance. What's 
that noise? Watch out, or you'll be next. They can't all be dead. Can they? Where'd you go? All your friends are dead. Uh, oh, hey, we have double jump now, so I can go over here. Hey, BD, in here. Oh, you found something. Uh, oh, new mount is paint. A bounty hunter. See, on the one hand, I appreciate this, because th th these are just Boba Fett's colors. This is the same colors that Slave 1 is painted. Like, literally. But it looks awful on the Mantis. That is just, that's terrible. I can't, in the right mind, I cannot have that. Go over there. Too scared, Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> Am I too scared? Get, get nah, I think I think I'll pass. Uh, okay. Oh, I missed this somehow. This dead Wookie. This Wookie died from toxic fumes. The Empire is poisoning the planet. Door's locked from the other side. Oh, I never unlocked that shortcut. It's because I never went back here. Well, now we can do this. Ugh. A little awkward. It's a brawler droid processing unit. You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> and we get another upgrade for BD. Now BD-1 can slice into the um, the big, the brawler security droids that we keep finding once they get low on health. I think that might be all of BD-1's upgrades as well. Well, I shouldn't say that. There are still upgrades that we are missing. But, not much. Ride the little train car with only four seats. Oh, sorry, eight seats. Okay, yeah, we're way back here. Whatever. I'll have to come back here if I want to go and collect stuff. It's all cosmetic anyway. We have much more important things to collect, though. Cordova believed the key to the vault is on Dathomir. You find your Wookiee? Yep. Things are bad down there. Empires everywhere. Inquisitors? Altrilla, the second sister, is gone for now, but she's still chasing us. I defeated the Ninth Sister. Mm 
uh, Cal, when I was captured by the Empire, I resisted. I swore to myself that I would die before I would talk. But then this dark shadow came. And he was worse than any nightmare I could have imagined. And I still fought. But in the end, I came apart. And I gave them Trilla. And I know there's nothing I can do to make that right. But Cal, there's still a chance we can save the others on the holocron. Okay, look. The Ninth Sister said something about becoming an Inquisitor, like, like it's inevitable. But you went through the same thing she did, and you didn't join them. Cal. It's okay, Seer. We'll find Cordova's holocron. Hey! Get your lasers off my lunch! I love how during that whole cutscene, Grease is just awkwardly putting salt on his food. Trying to make it look like he's not listening in. Got a couple new seeds. It's space salt. I assumed it was salt. I was gonna say maybe it was spice, but spice is something different in Star Wars. think it's more akin to like the the spice in dune imperial troopers must have combed this area clean the empire is picking up where it left off after rolling over saw's forces hopefully they all made it out alive i bet most did they're smart i may not understand saw's goals but he did lay a blow to the empire here they slowed down operations slowing down is one thing but what we're doing will end them for good I hope you're right. All right, we have done. Hey, wasn't there a gigantic crash ship on Zepho? Think there's any good loot in that thing? We have done pretty much everything that we can on Kashik. We're still missing four chests and three secrets. Oof. That sucks. The secrets are like actual benefits to us. They will increase our force and life. I might have to go and go back and get those off screen. Um, we could finish Bogano. And there's still a bunch of stuff that we never did on Zepho. Because the last time we were on Zepho, we went into like the ice caves and then we got jumped by the Haxian brood and immediately got sent to do the arena fight. Which is really cool, but it uh, kind of sidetracked me pretty hard. Do that. Back to Zepho. Anyone else hear that weird noise earlier? No, I didn't hear anything, but my meditation helps me focus out many distractions. I don't know. It's not a normal sound the manage makes. Sounded like it came from inside too. Like a stowaway? <laughs> They'd have to be pretty small, Greaves. This ship isn't that big. Maybe. Uh, could be. I have been missing some food lately. Weird smells. Oh, the droid smell? Not that I'm aware of. And they definitely don't eat. Uh, all right, I'll do more investigating. If I find something, I'll let you know. Can't wait. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. It's not like there's a small animal living inside the, the air vent. Back to Zepho. But it's okay, we change our paint job every time we come here, so the Empire doesn't know it's us. Um, okay, let's see here. Just 
So there's still a door there that we can't get through. I think it's locked. Alright. Either way, we gotta go this way. Uh, oh boy. Speaking of the Haxian Brood... I have to fight. Taxi and Brood out of nowhere. Right already. They were just in my way. Right here, BD. Alright. One down. And now it's just Oh, come on. Now it's just us and Crash talking droid. That's nothing. You look... you afraid? Ah. Easy credits. Never. Those droids do a lot of damage. They are quite annoying on this difficulty. Also, they don't stagger when you attack them. Is he still there? No. Okay. It's back to who it's supposed to be. Back to this droid. This droid is much more easily defeatable. It's still a very powerful droid. Alright, so once they reach that stage, then BD-1 can hack into them. But... There is no one here else here for us to fight. So, I guess this is interesting. Normally, when you get killed by an enemy, your, your souls, finger quote, uh, go into that enemy, and when you damage them again, you get them back. But... When that enemy does no, not exist anymore, because it is a scripted event, then it, they just kind of appear, like this. Kind of like Dark Souls. So it's kind of a, an amalgamation of... of, uh, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. I get to kill you all? Not all of you. Just most. What's that? Oh, there's a force echo over here that I missed. Or is there? No, that's just steam. That's the steam. Okay. Now I feel dumb. God, I don't remember how to get to this underground area now. I still haven't been up there. I guess that's kind of where I need to go. I 
didn't feel like dealing with him. I should rest here. Just in case, because there is there's a group of enemies over this direction that are consist consistently difficult. Ooh. Sneeze came out of nowhere. Back up, I've got this. Whoa, camera. Converge on the target. How is he doing that? Ah. I'll shoot him! Stop! Get him! Come on, fire! Ah. Ah. Understood. The pressure on him. Is he gonna kill us all? Oh. I can take him myself. Give it up on this fight. I can take him myself. Gets pushed into oblivion. Yeah, there was a whole section on Zepho that I just completely did not go to the first time around. For, uh, for whatever reason. Which is funny because the first time I played this game, I very clearly remember going to that underground area very fairly early on. I didn't have a lot of upgrades. Like I didn't have the double jump. I didn't have. Enemy located. Firing. You don't scare me. I don't even. I didn't even have force pull the first time I went there. Uh, no, I don't need to go that way. Because I can go over here now. remember what this is. Oh, it's just treasure. You just need to know, don't you? Oh, you found something. A rhodium. Okay. I need to get down there. That's where I fought the guy. The, the droid last time. Hey, buddy. I see you, Jedi. He's in my sight. Avoid all you want. You will pay for this. Your aim is off. Here. 
always underestimate those guys. I can get over here now. An Imperial officer hit a valuable relic here. She's hoping to use it to gain favor with the Emperor, but her deception was making her reckless. That also is not. Good work, BD. Come on. Um. Oh, I never did the, this whole interior section over here either. Oh, yeah, let's let's do that one. The big crashed Venator. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, the game doesn't like this. Hello? Oh boy. What is happening? I don't know if you can still hear me or not. I think Streamlabs... It's... Oh, no, my whole computer is locked up. Boy, howdy. Um... <laughs> okay, well, if you can hear me, uh, I'm probably going to have to restart my computer because everything is broken. So... Yeah, everything is locked up. I can't. My mouse is frozen. It's all it's all gone horribly wrong. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, it sounds like the music is still do wants to do something. What? Oh, oh my God! It's still here. Hello, am I back? <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what just happened there. Um, my whole computer froze. Like the game froze. Streamlabs, my mouse stopped moving. I don't know how much of that, the, how, how much of uh, me talking actually went through. But uh, yeah, everything froze up and just locked up for a good solid two minutes or so. And then it just kind of fixed itself. The stream disconnected, but we seem to be back now. That was weird. I've never seen that before. I think the game just really decided no, it wants to uh it wants to eat up all of my computer's memory all at once for a brief brief moment. But anyway, there is a great big crash star destroyer here that we are now going to go and explore. Not only that, but now we can dive underwater. And see what kind of secrets are hidden in the depths. I don't think there are very many. There's at least one. What's this? Pop! 
polished bronze yet. Thank God that Star Wars has, like, the most convenient excuse for underwater breathing. It's just a thing that you put in your mouth and then you can breathe underwater. That's it. No other equipment required. What is it, baby? Elemental nature. this oh okay I'm just back here now oh there's that that boss character it's it's one of these things but it's stronger inside this little ruin. We never did kill him the first time because he's very, very powerful. Ow. I think we may have tried to attack him and he just straight up hit us in one hit. Ow. No. Oh god. More treasure. Just waiting to be collected. Oh, you found something. The Fjord Poncho. Wait. They do. All the ponchos have like a pop top. I never noticed until now. I don't want to, I don't care about fighting you. Because now I can get in here. the double jump. We can climb our way inside this crashed Star Destroyer. Oh, we don't want to go that way. Right here, PD! Venator. Oh, what is this? Look at this. The dirt, it doesn't line up properly with the wall, and there's like an invisible wall here. Broken game, 2 out of 10. Let's check it out. Yeah, let me 
So, yeah, so the Venator Star Destroyers were the ones that were used in Episode 3, specifically. During the Clone Wars. They were kind of the, the proto Star Destroyers that uh, led to the creation of the the Victory and the Imperial Star Destroyers that more, I guess, the Imperial Star Destroyers more specifically that are so prevalent in the original trilogy. Now, I don't remember what is in here. Because I'm pretty sure this is a strictly optional area. But I've already got all of... Because I've, I've already got all of my, like, platforming upgrades, so I, I really don't remember what is actually inside the Crashed Venator. I'm curious. Again. Straight into the drink. Also, this is... I've always loved seeing, like, the big wide open interiors of Star Wars ships. Like this is the big landing bay of the Venator on its side, which is super cool. That's like the whole opening sequence of Ray in episode seven is super cool because you get to see, you know, the great big interior of a Star Destroyer on its side. That's all super neat. It's just the water area. I was down there already. I lived on a ship like this for years. It became my home. We scrapped them on Braca. Every time it felt like picking at the bones of that life. Thanks, BD. Damage indeed. Physics in video games. Open up shortcut. Need a jolt here. Uh, I'm gonna stop it. No. Uh, there. Uh, good enough. Physics in video games. Oh, come on. How did the Haxian through get here? Why are you here? Ugh, 
Can I go this way? Lock from the other side. What's up, BD? Electricity conduits. Uh, yeah, that's very true. Bye. Someone hit here from clones. They were under attack. Yeah, I'm okay. Just brings back memories. Throw me a stim, BD. hid in the ventilation shaft. Ah, uh, you're right. Let's go fight this jerk. There's probably another bounty hunter alongside them. He's yep. Quick. Wash your heads! Grand Moth no of. Oh, that's this guy. I'll hit you. Just you wait. This is another droid that just wants a hug. Watch this. I got force here. power. I was gonna push him. Oh, that's it. You can take a hit. Get back here! Uh, do the ground pound. Here it comes! Get some! You're nothing compared to me, Jedi. Nope, can't even push him. Looking scared, Jedi. You're going down! I had worse. Oh, that was Murdy. All right. Grand Moff, Nohog, and Murdy. Cool. Thanks, guys. Very tempted to rest and regain my whoa my healing uses, but I don't want to fight. Come on, I mean, the, the Haxian Brood guys won't respawn. They're just a, an event that can randomly spawn anywhere you go. But there would be other enemies here, and I don't want to fight them. I think there's a purge trooper that spawns there with the the uh, the double-sided electro staff. And I don't want to deal with that. Because we just unlocked another shortcut right here. power cables.
Boy, I'm happy I got that. I did not expect to live. Thought for sure I was going to get a rocket to the face, but... My timing was just right. That guy got a rocket to the face. I would have looked like that. That's another purge trooper. Get ready. Strike me again. He's moving. Jedi's on the move. He's hurting. Oh God, I hate this. All units, Jedi is down. Repeat. That uh, was a bad combination. Wait, I don't want that one. I want this one. again. But I also know that you're here. I can't push him into the, the electrical power thing. were made by a lightsaber. I need some help. That's so much better. Man, that was a weird line reading. <laughs> I see these big gashes in the hull that look like, you know, that are vaguely lightsaber shaped. They were made by a lightsaber. Sometimes I still wonder how it happened. If there were any signs I missed. <laughs> the clones? Yeah, I was angry. I still can't make sense of what happened. But I know this. They were pawns. Just like we were. Two skill points available, but that's okay. I want three to get them. Our big upgrade. Robes. Master! Marsef, you must go. They're still searching for you. I'm not leaving you. This puzzle. Yes, I remember this puzzle very clearly. Well, 
feel like I should clarify. I remember this puzzle existing. I don't remember it clearly enough to be like, oh yeah, this is how you solve it. Basically, no, shut up, BD one. I don't need any help. Oh, I see. use the force on that somehow, but I don't know how. Understand what I am supposed to do with that. Doesn't get me anywhere. Come on, come on, BD. Hmm. If I overcharge that, then that comes up to there, but I don't have. I don't have my wall jump platforms anymore. Oh. It, yeah, it's a simple solution. I'm just stupid. And then that one. Allows those to come down, which I can then use to get across here. No. That is incorrect. there, but I still need this. If 
like I need to do it from this side and this thing doesn't want to stay in a useful place. <laughs> Yeah, I remember getting stuck here for a long time on my first playthrough as well. And I am not sure. Don't recall what the actual solution is. Because I need this. Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. I need this thing like right here. But it won't. It only has three states. get over there. Ah. If I move this lift, it passes the panel. Just got to get the timing right. No. Oh. Yeah, I understand again. We need to get across this gap. No, I don't. But I think the power still needs to be on. <laughs> yeah, power needs to be on. Throw me a stim BD. Nice work. I am dumb. Just what we needed. <laughs> I always forget that, like, Timing puzzles exist in this game because they come up so rarely. Also, I feel like I haven't quite tripped the uh, the event trigger to make these guys start fighting, so they're kind of just chilling out together. Me. EPD, take a look. What you got there? Ow. Where am I? Up here. God. Okay, I'm just stuck. Right here, BD. Wow, this is a really bad place to be fighting this thing. BD, let's go. Get out of my way. I'm sorry, Master. His master died in his arms. He buried her the best he could. It's too dangerous to light a pyre. Yep, there you go. 
What is it, BD? Starfighter poncho material. Oh, wow, it's awful. Absolutely horrible. Excellent. It's the same colors as the, the Rebel flight suit. New BD1 skin. Cantonica. Ooh. Black. Pure black. That's... That's it. Oh. Ho ho ho. It was all worth it after all. Have I mentioned to you how awesome this is? Because you're pretty great. That's what was up there. Another stim canister. <laughs> Attack destroyed. Attacking droids. Alright, so that was the crashed Venator. Got a healing stem out of it, and... I suppose... Yeah, we can still go this way. We'll get to the right place. got to go here. We have to descend into the depths. That means we can get our super upgrade, Lightsaber Mastery. All of our lightsaber damage is increased. That's a real solid upgrade for us to have. We also have the ability to go up zip lines, which means we can get up here now. Wait, I thought there was more. I could swear that there was another thing here for us to find. I guess not. I guess this is just a shortcut. Um, in any event... God, how do we get to those stupid caves? I gotta get over there. Oh, but I can't. Oh, yes I can. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking. You see something? I can't keep track of him! Please stop. Stop. 
SPD! I hate the probe droids so much. It is by far the most obnoxious thing this game does is send enemies that fly against you who has no ranged attack. I see you, Jedi. I don't feel like dealing with you either. Although we do no more damage now. More of that coming. I need help. Feeling much better. Thanks. There's something about the like the twin electro baton hey, guys that still perplex me. Uh, oh, hey, we can get up here now. We can get this echo. My men will double their efforts. We'll get inside, Officer Crane. Double their efforts. He said the thing. <laughs> Now we can go this way. Oh. Okay. That was the zip line we were supposed to supposed to grab. There we go. Help, please. So it's a little unorthodox because I think you are supposed to come the other way. Okay, I've been here already because I got that stim. Oh no, this is the way that I came. Because I crossed here with force pull. Well, after I came out of the tomb. And then this is where the Haxian brood robot jumped me. This is what you're supposed to fight here. Wait too long. I always wait too long for the kick attack and it always catches me off guard. Who's this? An Imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. There was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. Officer Crane. So there's there's a whole bunch of force echoes kind of around this area from like Officer Crane who's trying to like find relics and the for the Empire. And this is apparently where she got to. This is her skeleton. I don't know why she's a skeleton already. Seems a little odd that uh, she has already decomposed. But yeah, this is weird. Like, this is a completely different direction that I came down here from. <laughs> oh boy. Like, how does that connect? We need to be on high alert. I'm always on high alert. What happened on Tempo was a God. disaster. Yeah, I. I com I've completely forgotten how these actually connect to each other, but this elevator will take us back up to a different place.
there's several there's several ways down here and uh, I was not aware that they were optional apparently this whole underground section is just like yeah if you wanna I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Oh, that's how it connects. I just never came, I just never came through here. Like, in the very first... Oh, God, the Haxian Brood is back here. Well, I'm not fighting you guys. But, like, in the first... Or maybe even the second stream, I came through here. Did the temple and everything. And then... I just never went back this way. And force pushed my way through... Through there. Apparently, cave. No, but we came through this cave already. So I think what happened is I came up through here, found this this thing that we couldn't force push our way through, and then went back and did the temple and everything, and looped back in a completely different way. and never went through the ice caves. Because the elevator is only at the bottom. Originally, to get down here, you have to do this. how you do that. That's so weird. I can't believe I skipped over this whole this whole section. This is probably locked. It's yeah. locked. Okay, well, we've got some stuff to explore. <laughs> God. Anybody want some rat pieces? Yep, there you go. Let's see what you found. The Wayfarer Poncho. I like my ugly orange. Unlock the shortcut. I need a stim, BD. So now, now we can kill those rats with just two attacks. Find a weak 
point. Don't slip up now. Please don't. I'm feeling weak, BD. More treasures. Hey, BD, what's this? What's that, BD? Arcitron? They really buff the damage of the animals in Jedi Master difficulty. I got a skill point. Uh, where does that go? Okay, so that'll unlock the shortcut closest to the Mantis. So that's good. We'll do that one last. Do this other one first. Wasn't sure I was going to make that jump. Onward. Into the, the Empire's weird cargo elevators that travel diagonally and sideways. I wonder if these overly long elevator rides are disguising loading screens. Hmm. Good job, BD. You got this, BD. Oh, there's a there's a meditation circle here. He was killed by a cave-in. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. Thanks for that, BD. Just boop in all capital letters. treasures under the water. No. I feel like, yeah, we've been here before. Definitely. Yeah. This is just the crash site again with the, the clone trooper helmets. Okay, so we have been here before. I don't know what that sound was. That was the sound of a force power happening, but I didn't press any buttons. And was also swimming. Kaboom. 
yeah, it's just so funny to me because there's so many ways to get down into these ice caves, and I just completely skipped all of them. Oh. Okay. We do a lot more damage now. So the, the animals aren't quite as scary as they used to be. I'm pretty happy with that, how that fight went. Want to look inside? Oh, you found something. Oh, this Bestine BD1 skin. Ooh, it's gross. Let's do it. Now I'm getting weird, like, spikes of lag in this game. I think... Something, uh, something horrible happened when the stream shut down for a brief moment. That's an excellent find. It will need my personal evaluation. Just all of a sudden this game ate all of my memory at once. Just gobbled it up right up. Fight you, don't want to fight you. Perfect. I don't really want to fight you either. Stupid goat horse. I got no beef with you. So yeah, that there is the ice caves on Zepho. An area that I should have that I was able to go into a long time ago and never did for whatever reason. That leads just back down to the ice caves. Which I have no interest in doing. That's the way? All right. Because this unlocks this shortcut right here. Stormtroopers here either. They must have cleared out to search for the tomb. That's good for us, but the caves will be crawling with them. I'll do what I can to monitor their movements. Something about this doesn't feel right. The Empire doesn't give up ground. I know. I feel it too. Watch yourselves, okay? You too. That was a weird dialogue trigger. I feel like that was a little out of place. But whatever. Uh-oh. Oh boy. This game is not having a good time on my computer right now, which is weird. Like, I have no idea what, uh, what changed.
I'll do a quick little update to my lightsaber with some of the new stuff that we collected. Uh, so we got some new materials. We got the Cerakote. Uh, I think we got Erodium. Uh, copper, which is pretty cool. Polished Bronzium is a new one that we just got. Uh, what else? Uh, Lamina Steel, I think, is a new one. That is disgusting. Arcitron is another new one. I like that. That's like a bluish. Very, very small hint of blue and shiny. I'm going to go with that. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, we don't have... Oh, we got the new, we got the, this new emitter, Elemental Nature. Got like wood grain. Passion Strength, I think we had that one already. I like the Jaro Topal emitter. That's the one that Cal is supposed to have. But it is very big. It doesn't really suit. It doesn't suit Cal. He's a small boy. We'll go with Passion Strength. It's very simplistic. Um, we don't want any other, like, accent colors, like the wood grain or bronze or anything like that, because it looks weird with this color of metal. So go, we'll go with the Jarotopal switch. Sleeve... Yeah, like the, the duty and resolve and the elemental nature sleeves look cool because they've got like the wood grain and the kind of natural look to them, but they don't mix well with other lightsaber designs very well. Passion and strength. There we go. That there is a lightsaber. Well, I was... Where are we at? I've been going for about... A little under three hours. I don't... I mean, I would like to keep going a bit longer. But... Dathomir is... There's a lot to do on Dathomir. And I do feel a little bit like the game is kind of breaking at the seams. So I might call it here. Because I'm afraid this game, if I go through too many more loading screens is just going to freeze and everything is going to be bad. So I'll call it there. Um, yeah, that was weird. I've, I've never seen my whole computer lock up like that. Um, usually I can get through and it, yeah, and it everything just kind of worked after whatever it was continued working. I don't know if it was Streamlabs or if it was um, Jedi Fallen Order or if it was some combination of both. That uh, may be the case. But in any event, that's going to be it for me. Um, hopefully the, the, the Twitch VOD is fixed and the issue I have with that will be working, uh, but I'll be uploading this to YouTube anyway. Uh, probably, oh, I might have to do, the recording will be one solid thing, so I might end up recording or uploading that VOD to YouTube just so it's not split into two. Uh, we'll see. But in any event, that, that's it for me. I'll be back. I'll be back on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, same time as today. Um, I'm going to start playing Shovel Knight as a replacement for Hollow Knight since I'm done there. Um, as for what else is going on 
in, I guess, a little more than an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Tales of Harbor is happening on Wordsy stream um, every every second Friday.